Now that we have our tree finished, I can go ahead and add some grass down below. So I'm going to dip my same paintbrush into the green, making sure again, only to get the green on the bristles. And then here towards the bottom, if I lift the page off the table, then I'm, I know I'm not going to get any of my paint on the table. So I'm just going to make these broad brush strokes where I barely touch the paper. If I press down really hard, then I'm not going to make what looks like grass. It's going to be much thicker. So I'm going to do this, maybe I'll make some smaller ones in between and fill in my grass down at the bottom. Once I have the grass down here, I can start adding our leaves, which is the fun part. So right here I have my little paper towel roll and it's kind of in the shape of a leaf. And I also have all these fall colors. So I'm going to choose a few colors at a time, make sure that I coat it completely and then I can start adding the leaves to my tree. If it doesn't come out all the way, I can go over it one more time, making sure that I really cover this entirely and put leaves all over my branches. And I can also switch it up to some of my other fall colors. If it doesn't come out all the way, I again can just go over it one more time. I'm going to try to make some mixes. I can even mix some of the colors up and it's okay if I have more than one color on there because in the fall we have lots of different colors on our trees. You might even have a few green leaves that are still left on there. Might even have some way up here at the top. Once I'm done with that, I might also have some leaves that have fallen down to the ground. So I might add a leaf or two down here. I'm gonna use some different colors. So there's my fall picture. If I wanna make it more interesting, I could also still add a little pumpkin maybe at the bottom. So I can use a little bit of my orange the way that I make my pumpkin down here is I just like to make a little oval like this. And then from the side, I'm gonna make another little sort of C shape. And then a, a backwards C here. And then I can fill it in using some of my yellow. I don't wanna cross my lines because then I won't be able to see the outline. So I just fill in the middle of these spots like this. And I can add a stem too. And there I have a nice little fall painting.